Hi viewers, today we will solve example 8.14 from boil state. This is a super mesh related problem here we have to identify the mesh currents. So what is a super mesh? When there is a current source in common, when there is a current source in common between two mesh, then the circuit is called a super mesh circuit. So for the circuit, let this is loop 1 and this is loop 2 and let the current of loop 1 be I1 and the current of loop 2 be I2. So from the circuit we see that 4 ampere current source is common between loop 1 and loop 2. So this is a super mesh circuit. Now for solving the super mesh circuit we can mentally remove the 4 ampere current source and redraw the circuit as Twelve volt, twenty volt, six ohm, four ohm, two ohm. This is I one current. This is I two current. Now, if we virtually remove the four ampere current source, then this is open. So, this is a single path for current. Now the single current will flow throughout this two loop. So this single current which is flowing through the two loops is called the super mesh current. Now if we run the Kashop's voltage law through this whole path then we will get using KBL we will get minus 20 minus 20 plus 6 I1 up to this point this is i1 so 6 i1 plus plus 4 i1 and this is i2 part so this is plus minus 2 i2 plus 2 i2 minus 12 is equal 0 simplifying the equation 10 i1 plus 2 i2 is equal 32 let this is equation 1 now from the circuit we see that I1 current is flowing downward and I2 is flowing upward. So we can write a equation by subtracting I1 and I2 which will be equal to 4 ampere. Now I1 I1 minus minus I2 is equal 4 ampere. This is positive because I1 is going downwards so also 4 ampere is also going downward this is positive that this is equation 2 now if we multiply equation 2 by 2 then we get 2 i1 minus 2 i2 is equal 8 from equation 1 we get 10 i1 plus 2 i2 is equal 32 2 i2 will cancel each other 12 i1 is equal 40 I1 is equal 3.33 ampere. Now, if we put the value of I1 into equation 2, we will get 3.33 minus I2 is equal 4, that is I2 is equal minus 0 0.67 ampere so we get i1 is equal 3.33 ampere i2 is equal minus 0 0.67 ampere these are the answer thanks for watching